Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about a pattern that's simple on the surface but plays a huge role in keeping real world systems reliable, the retry pattern. If you have ever placed an order and didn't even realize something failed and then fixed itself in the background, you were probably experiencing this pattern in action. We are going to walk through a real e-commerce example step by step and I'll show you exactly how the retry pattern works behind the scenes to make systems more resilient and user friendly. Let's get into it. So let's say you are building an online store. Like most modern platforms, it's built with microservices. You have a checkout service that handles orders, a payment service that talks to your payment gateway, and maybe a notification service that sends confirmation emails and texts. Now here's the thing about distributed systems. Failures happen. Not always because something's broken, but sometimes just because of timing, network blips, or external services being slow to respond. Let's look at a real example. A user places an order. The checkout service processes the items and then calls the payment service to charge the customer's card. That payment service talks to a third party provider, maybe Stripe or Razorpay or some banking API. Most of the time it works, but once in a while the payment gateway doesn't respond in time. Maybe there is a brief network issue or maybe the external system is under temporary load. You get a timeout or a transient error. Now, if you treat that as a hard failure, you've just lost the order. But if you apply the retry pattern, things work very differently. Here's how it works. The payment service sees that the first attempt failed, maybe due to a timeout or a service unavailable error. Instead of giving up immediately, it waits a moment then tries again. If that second attempt works, the payment goes through, the checkout service continues and the user never knows there was an issue. From the user's point of view, it was smooth. But under the hood, the retry pattern quietly handled a failure and saved the experience. And this is exactly what retrying is about, handling short-lived non-critical failures by giving the system a second or third chance to succeed. But retrying doesn't mean you just keep hammering away endlessly. Good implementations of the retry pattern use something called exponential back off. That means the system waits a little longer between each retry. The first retry might happen after 200 milliseconds. If that fails, the next one waits one second, then maybe three seconds. You also cap the number of retries. You don't want to overload a service that's already struggling or keep a user waiting forever. Usually, services retry a few times and if it still fails, they report it properly. Maybe by showing a friendly message or by sending the failed request to a queue for later processing. Let's continue our story with a full e-commerce flow. A customer named Sarah places an order for a laptop. The checkout service starts processing and calls the payment service to charge the card. The payment service calls the external payment gateway, but the first attempt times out. No problem, the retry pattern kicks in. The system waits half a second, then tries again. This time the request goes through. The charge is successful. Payment service returns a success response. Checkout service confirms the order and Sarah gets her email confirmation from the notification service. Everything worked and Sarah never knew that a retry saved the transaction. Now imagine this happens a hundred times a day or during a flash sale when traffic spikes. The retry pattern helps your system ride through those hiccups without taking users down with it. Where you use retries, you can apply retries in lots of places across an e-commerce platform. The checkout service can retry failed payments. The inventory service might retry when trying to lock stock during high demand. The notification service can retry if sending an email fails the first time. Even the front end can retry API calls when it sees a temporary error and in each case retries improve the user experience, reduce error rates and buy time for transient problems to recover. The key is knowing when to retry and how to back off so you don't overload the system. When not to retry. There's one important thing to understand here. Retrying only makes sense when the failure is temporary, like a timeout, a slow response or a short outage. 
but if the request itself is bad like the user typed in the wrong credit card number or they are out of funds retrying won't help you don't want to repeat the same failed logic so you need to check the type of error before deciding to retry smart retry logic understands the difference between a glitch and a real failure so to wrap this up the retry pattern is one of those behind the scenes strategies that makes modern applications feel smooth and reliable even when things break in our e-commerce example retrying saved sarah's order when a payment gateway glitched it's quiet automatic and user friendly you define how many times to retry how long to wait between retries and what kinds of failures are safe to retry it's not a magic fix but when used well it makes your system a lot more resilient without rewriting everything this is all about retry pattern